Hey there guys, we're getting ready to uh, record the video. It's on my green screens up. Uh, I just left it up, it's kind of funny looking. But yeah, so there's a new blog post that's just come out. We're going to uh, talk about it, give you my thoughts on it, and that's pretty much it. Pretty simple, if you guys have already seen the blog post, hang around for my thoughts on it. And yeah, I'd be interested to hear what everybody thinks in the comments down below. Uh, it's pretty pretty interesting. I mean, it's nothing too, too crazy, but it's pretty interesting. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I have. I got positive feelings towards this one, you know what I'm saying? So, we've got the blog post. If you guys haven't seen it yet, uh, definitely check it out. So, essentially, what we have got is the announcement of Graviton. And if you look on through here, uh, it, it doesn't say what exactly is going to be going on with him yet. It doesn't really say, like, everything he's going to do. It says that he uh, weighs down enemies with stun and stacks of slow and then heavy attacks increasing damage for every negative effect on the enemy so i mean it's kind of cool almost sounds like a carnage type effect except you know what i mean like where carnage uses a big attack i i have to take everything back to carnage i love him i'm sorry that's what you signed up for when you sub to this channel everything references carnage so essentially i mean it's it's having him his event so he's gonna have a campaign event is what it looks like and it looks like aim is going to be getting reworked and it's interesting i don't know how like crazy i want to get on it just because i don't know if i trust it but essentially what they're saying they're comparing the aim rework with graviton to uh magneto and uh the brotherhood i don't know if i can trust that because that seems pretty crazy to give a team away that's that strong for free essentially because everybody has like aim ish characters that's pretty cool that they're reworking it of course but i don't know it seems pretty crazy to me that they would be that strong maybe they will be i'm not sure we'll see but that's kind of like what they reference right here they talk about how it turns them into a nightmare for negative effect centric teams so i'm curious if they just use like they're referencing brotherhood just because that's kind of like a like a flash word keyword where you like saying you're like oh they're gonna be really good but all it says is that they're gonna be negative effect centric teams so I guess exactly like what I did at the beginning of this video. I don't think they're going to be as good as Brotherhood, but it references that, which is just kind of like, so it made me think that. But, so I think they're going to be good. That's coming in 3.5 patch notes. I don't know when that is. It just says that's coming soon. Along with that, we're going to have improved Blitz. So that's going to be interesting. Not exactly sure what all they're going to be doing. I know that they're making it so you won't have three copies of the same team anymore. That's nice because it says you should almost never. So watch out. We're still going to have three defenders out there somewhere. But essentially, it's going to try and make that different. If you've noticed over the past couple of weeks, uh, Valley Mobile Gamer and uh, Casino were talking about this in their videos from Fox Next Headquarters about how like blitz seems harder recently and that's because they changed that so that's a change as well uh something about the points multiplier starting at two times i don't really understand the point of that i guess it's more points i guess that that's for beginning players that'll help a bit and it'll just help a little bit i don't think it'll be that much but that'll be nice at least for beginning players now the part that i'm not sure about man this is i don't know level 75 and gear tier 14 i am not sure what to think about this I'm not, right? Because level 75 is going to be way expensive. And I'm sure there's a lot of players who don't have any characters at level 70 yet. But I don't know. It's kind of interesting because it's like, okay, like level 75. Like we're going to have to start saving gold again. I mean, I'm already always saving gold. So I'm not sure. They're going to have to like figure out a way to make it so stuff is available, like more available, like gold and stuff is more available, which I think they'll do. They talk about that a little bit. I don't know why they even reference the change. We'll bring additional max campaign energy. You get like one extra campaign energy per level or something, unless they're going to give us more. But typically it's like one per, so it's like going to be five more energy. It's like, okay, I don't even know why you had to reference that. But uh, unless that's just going to be different. So here's to hoping that maybe they'll give us extra energy, more than f five total. And it, it says that uh, the level cap increase will make you earn more gold per level at level 71 and beyond. So I don't know if that means like you're going to earn more level at level 75 than at level 70, like maybe like per node or something, or if it just means you're going to earn more gold than before when you level up. I'm not sure, but I am hoping that it will consistently allow us to get more gold we need more and especially with like something like this like this changes the entire flow of things because 
It costs 3.6 some million to get a character from level 1 to level 70, but if you take them to 75, I can only imagine that it's going to cost nearly 5 million gold. And that's just nutty. You know what I mean? It's probably actually going to be more than that. It could be closer to 6 million gold. And to me, that's just nutty. I can't... I don't know. Like, I can't even think about that right now. It's just so much gold. And it's going to be a grind, and that'll be kind of frustrating. But I'm hoping that they're going to do it well. I think that they listen. They seem to be listening pretty well recently. Uh, Gear Tier 14, I think that that'll be fine. I mean, it's whatever I've got. I've got a good bit of characters at Tier 13. I know a lot of people don't, but keep in mind that this is for, like, endgame players, right? Like, if you have one character at level 70, well... Taking all your characters to level 75 in gear tier 14 is not for you. But then with somebody like me, I've got like 30, 40 characters at level 70. And then I've got like 20 characters at tier 13. You know, it's different. You know what I mean? And, and that said, like gear is going to become more available. Like they'll probably put some of those uniques in uh, some of the orbs, more like more readily available orbs. They'll probably put them maybe on nodes or maybe raid rewards. They'll make them more accessible. It's not like, oh, this is going to be a bottleneck forever. You know, that's how it works. So then, like, Gear 14 is probably going to be the new, like, Tier 13, if that makes sense. So I don't know if they'll put it in shops or they'll put it behind, like, a really hard game mode, like how Fear of the Darkness was or whatever. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I, I look forward to it because some stuff's getting a little stale because it's like, oh, yeah, like, when characters are set behind red stars, right? Like, it's just random. You might get lucky and get a good red star, which helps carry you through a, a really hard boosted raid node that has a ton of red stars. But if it's a level 75 character, it's like, okay, well, I'm going to play for another week, and then I can get my characters to level 75 or my character to level 75, and then no problem. You know what I'm saying? So that, to me, is cool. I'm fine with that. Again, Gear Tier 14, I don't think it's going to be a big deal. I hope it's less RNG dependent than Gear 13 was. I spent well over 10,000 cores refreshing the stores trying to get my team to Tier 13 for Fear the Darkness. And you might be saying, oh, what a whale. Not a whale. Just someone who did it for a really long time and had bad luck. So... I'm fine with that. I think it'll be good. Next thing we got, uh, Koye Blitz. That's coming up, I guess, this week. I'm not sure when that is, but that's coming up next week. And we got, of course, the legendary event for Invisible Woman. We already knew about that. That's five star Sinister Six. I don't even know why they put that in there, to be honest. And then we're going to have a double drops for Sinister Six, which doesn't really, it's kind of whatever to me. I'm finished. I finished Shocker today, so I just need Mysterio, and I think I need like 25 more of his shards, so I'll be good to go with that, I hope. But yeah, so I mean, that will help some people get in there. I know quite a few people were a little worried about getting Shocker up in time, but I think it'll be fine. This has been one of the more free-to-play uh, friendly legendaries, which I'm pretty happy about. I'm hoping she's good. The whole team looks awesome, but that's uh, another thing for another video. One thing I forgot is for the Graviton event, you're going to use Hero Controllers. I'm not sure who that is yet, but I'm sure that we've got them. I mean, Hero Controllers, all good. So... That's pretty much it, guys. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What do you think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about Graviton? What are your thoughts on the the level increase? At first, I was a little irritable about the level increase, but then I kind of sat on it for a little bit, and I was like, meh, nah, I'm not too upset about that. That'll be fun. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for it. I think it'll be good. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. If you like this, then like it. You know, goes without saying a little bit. Helps me out, though, when you do that. Make sure to sub to the channel so you don't miss anything. Appreciate you guys. Hope you're having a great day. If you're not, hope you have a great day now because you deserve to have a great day. You're an awesome person. That's all I got to say, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.